Welcome to Rawhide Media for you. Remember, you may be a visitor, but never a stranger over here at Rawhide Media. So guys, hey, let's get to it. I just want to thank, I want to put, put a special thanks out there for a gentleman by the name of Mike Ryan Ruiz. If you're not familiar with Mike, he is a cast member on the uh, Dan Lebatar show that premieres on YouTube. I think on YouTube, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what time the show comes on, but Mike Ruiz, I, I've seen clips of him and uh, he was giving his takes on Colorado and how he felt about the team and what he thought that team would be before. Now, this is before the season started. So Mike was like, he thinks it's going to be a disaster. Uh, they, he doesn't think they're going to be pretty good. You know, those type of things. So the deal is, is today on his show, he has some more statements that he made about Colorado football. And the reason why I'm talking about him in particular, I'm using him for example. First, again, I want to say that, Mike, we do. I personally appreciate what you said and coming clean because you all know I did a show about mainstream media. Don't tell on yourself. So just take a listen. This is what Mike had to say about Colorado Buffaloes and his feelings on that particular team. Let's take a listen. Yeah, I'll just lean into the, the Colorado hater stuff. What I was alluding to and tiptoed around is I wasn't such a huge fan of how Coach Sanders approached this season, approached some of his discussions with players, how he goes about recruiting certain players. It, I, I think it to be dirty pool in a game that's basically dirty pool anyways. And I have so many hypocrisies showing when it comes to what I've said previously about changing regimes over here in, in Miami. But I, I don't want it to work so spectacularly well. I don't want it to work as well as it might seem after one week because I do think that the way he's approached things can be called into question. I do think that it would breed a lot of copycats, and I think that makes an already super dangerous sport. And I'm not just talking about what's happening on the field. I'm talking about all the ambiguity in different states surrounding all these rules. Lawlessness. Lawlessness. Yeah. You have a he's renegade. A bigger outlaw, he's a bigger renegade and outlaw than anybody. And I'm not going to be worried about the kids guy like I've been in the past because I already sound very pearl clutchy. But I think it's going to be a fascinating case study. And I'm not willing to call it a success after one week, in part because I'm kind of afraid to. Again, I would like to thank Mike and the Dan Lepitar show. You know, <laughs> hey, Mike coming clean, he was hypocritical. Uh, Mike, you know, he just saying he wanted to see him fail. Now, he got a little hyperbolic towards the end, but the gist of it is this. Why is this important? Guys, remember, I did a show on mainstream media, don't tell on yourself. Mainstream media, don't tell on yourself. Uh, I put the link in the strip. I'll put the link in the description if you hadn't seen that. So check that out. M mainstream media, don't tell on yourself. And Mike is the perfect example of mainstream media telling on himself. Mike came clean. He said, hey, maybe a lot of what I said, I was just a hater. I did not want Coach Prime to succeed. So his predictions was based on his internal want, not evaluating the team, not uh, giving them a honest opinion on how he thinks they should perform with the type of talent that they have and the type of coaching acumen that Coach Prime has. It was all about him saying, I don't want to see Coach Prime wing it. That's what it was about. Now, if he had never came clean and you listened to him before, the naysayers would be on the same side as him saying that, hey, man, yeah, I didn't think they was going to do well. They surprised me. No. You really didn't have an opinion on it at all. Your opinion was is that you don't like Coach Prime. You don't like what he's doing. So you didn't evaluate. You didn't give the team an honest evaluation. So thank you. I like to say again, thank you, Mike. You know, and I'm going to put that Dan Le Levitar show link. I'm going to have it in the description also. Guys, remember when I told you who was the most hated team in college football? And that's the Colorado Buffaloes. Remember when I told you that? Hey, it's clear. They telling on themselves. They telling on themselves. 
Colorado Buffalo is the most hated team in college football simply for the fact that Coach Prime and the disdain that they have for him. I'd also like to say, guys, you got to think about this. What What is true hate, all right? I hate to go back to this, but what is true hate? Hate is something that you criticize a person for that's natural or ongoing or is something that's not out of the ordinary. That's really the true definition of hate. <clears> oh, <throat> I can't stand how they walking. Oh, I can't stand that. I, I can't believe he bought that car. Oh, I can't believe she wearing that. Come on, man. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. Oh, uh, Coach Pratt, they ain't gonna win. They, they, do, they got the worst talent amassed in, in college football. UMass got a better team than Colorado. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's hate. That's the pure definition of hate. You know, we like to throw that word around a lot and say things are hating when it's really not. It's really truly an honest opinion. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, you scored 10 points. You shot 30% from the field. You played a bad game. That's not hate. <laughs> That's stating the facts. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying, for example. But my, man, I, my, I just tip my hat off to him, man. I appreciate it. You one of the few that just came clean and said, hey, I don't want to see it work. I love that. And again, remember, I told you guys, I told you. <laughs> Mainstream media, they will tell them they said, but you got to listen with that third ear. And remember, Colorado Buffalo, the most hated team in college football. I also have that link in the description also. You can check out that show. So anyway, guys, I just want to get on here and say that real quick. Hey, remember, I don't present the information. I'm just trying to have a conversation. It's your boy, Raw High Media. We out.